Hi guys. In this video I'm going to do some work on this HP ProBook 6440B. Basically what I will do first, I will upgrade the hard drive from the 160 gigabytes that is in right now to a 250 gigabytes hard drive. Now this is not a huge hard drive for uh, these days, but it is uh, good enough for uh, home use. And uh, my friend who has this laptop also has an external hard drive, so no big data will be stored onto this laptop. And uh, after that I'm going to upgrade it to Windows 10. But uh, yeah, first uh, to go to the next hard drive without reinstalling everything, I need to clone the existing hard drive onto something. Well, basically the data that is uh, already on this uh, uh, hard drive is pretty big. So, yeah, I'm going to use uh, lots of uh, USB drives to, <laughs> to store it. Uh, the software that I'm using knows uh, how to split data when a media is full. So I can basically keep uh, putting uh, USB drives in until everything is uh, backed up. Uh, yeah, you could do it on uh, optical drives, on uh, an external hard drive, but uh, for the moment I have uh, USB drives that are free and uh, laying around. So I'm going to use that. And of course, what you need to do before uh, doing a backup or a clone, make sure you don't have uh, anything that actually doesn't need to be there. So uh, use disk cleanup and uh, remove everything that you can, so you make this less space consuming and less uh, time consuming, because copying from one media to another takes time, of course. So at this point I'm going to let it do its thing, delete what I can delete, and then uh, start the cloning process. Basically there are tons of free softwares for this, I'm not going to go into, uh, into details about, about that, but uh, yeah, if you want to split the data like I'm going to do, make sure your software supports that. If you have a big media, then there is no problem. So. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive. Basically you undo these uh, two screws. You don't have to take them completely out, just make sure they are uh, completely loose. Okay, then another screw here at the end of the hard drive. And then just pull on this flap and the hard drive is out. And from what I see here it is missing two, two screws basically. So you can see it's flapping around the, in the breeze and that is not a good thing. If you have uh, screws of this type you can uh, basically add them but if not I will show you what to do in a moment. Basically you put them in a cross pattern. Actually not really a cross because there are only two, but you get my point. This is the old uh, 160 gigs hard drive. And this is the new one. Okay. Now let me just think which direction it should be better. Actually I don't even think it really matters. Make sure you do not drop the screws as they are quite small and uh, even worse, do not drop them into the laptop. My phone making noise in the background. I think it has uh, a way of telling when I'm recording stuff and it, uh, it starts making noises only then. It's like people intentionally try to contact me when I'm working on something. So yeah, do not over tighten the screws. You can see it's not flapping around anymore. 
make sure the new hard drive has the same uh, connection type as the old one but these days most of them are SATA so you are quite okay put the caddy with the hard drive back make sure it goes uh, in the correct position this could be quite hard at times uh, and now pull on this flap and now push it from the end quite annoying just uh, make sure that you don't push on it too hard if it doesn't want to go in check what is wrong but this one is going in pretty actually no it's not going in pretty nicely so I have to make sure it is okay okay at this point hard drive is in tighten the screw put the cover back tighten the other screws and we are done 160 gigs replaced with 250 gigs and that is about how you do it to save some time I've decided to go another way this time and basically clone these hard drives inside a desktop computer basically laptop hard drives are uh, the same type of uh, hard drives the connection at least as the ones for, for uh, desktops so you can plug, uh, plug this in as long as you have enough uh, SATA ports and cables and power cables and stuff like that but uh, this one only has two, one for the optical drive and one for its own hard drive. So at this point I'm going to unplug those, plug these two hard drives and both uh, from a USB drive. And copy the data directly from one to the other, actually clone it, not copy it, because copying it would not result into a bootable drive. So I'm going to use the same... Uh, software that I intended to use for uh, for backup and cloning in the other situation with USB drives but now it will be directly from one hard drive to the other because uh, there is quite a lot of data onto these hard drives and it would take too long to use uh, USB sticks so let's do this okay cloning process has uh, begun and it will take uh, way less than what I initially wanted to do with USB drives. So hopefully this is going to be over in uh, under 10 minutes. But we will see. Okay guys, we are on the 250 GB hard drive now. And I want to upgrade to Windows 10. Basically this computer doesn't uh, tell me to upgrade, it has a genuine uh, Windows 7 license but I don't know, there are some problems with uh, updates and on this laptop, basically if I try to install any of this it will freeze, so maybe because these are not installed it doesn't prompt me for the, the other one, I have no idea. But I'm going to try and do what this uh, tutorial says. Basically this is the link. Ho hopefully I remember to put it in the description. And uh, I will force it to download Windows 10. Now let's see if I'm able to do that. As you can see I've tried to finish the missing updates the ones that were hidden but they still don't work so I've decided to tackle this a uh, whole different way I'm going to put uh, Windows onto a USB drive and install it from that USB drive on top of this Windows 7 so basically I'm doing uh, an upgrade but without waiting for Windows to prompt me or uh, directly starting the setup from Windows and see how that goes okay I'm getting ready to somewhat force uh, Windows 10 install 
I've made a USB drive, bootable one. This is what's on that drive. And I've also copied this media creation tool. Basically, this is what I've made the drive with. Because I realized it has an option to where to upgrade the computer on which you are basically running media creation tool. This is what I mean. So basically I might be lucky and I don't have to start with a USB drive. But I'm not really sure this will actually work. So yeah, we will see about that. And of course I cannot do it exactly at this point because I'm moving something from C partition that basically was on desktop before to the new D partition where I'm going to put uh, everything else. So yeah, now I'm going to start this because most likely, yeah, it will download Windows 10. So basically while it is copying, it will also, also download. So this doesn't really bother me. It can do this at the same time. So I'm just going to wait until it, both of these finish. Okay, it seems we are ready to do this. Basically, I didn't do anything. Uh, my copying from C to D finished. Uh, Windows 10 did its thing. It's waiting for me to accept the license. And yeah, if something goes wrong, I have a backup, backup of C partition on D partition and I can restore that. So let's do this and no matter what happens, uh, I'm still safe. And of course, some more checking for updates. I will come back with the video when something different happens because this could take a while. We are one step closer to installing Windows 10. Basically it did some checks and uh, yeah, it's just telling us what we uh, choose uh, so far to install Windows 10 Pro and keep our personal files and apps, which is perfect. So let's do this. This is weird because uh, this type of setup is completely different from the one when Windows is basic, basically telling you with the system tray icon to upgrade. This looks completely different, so I'm really curious about the final result if it will differ from that one or not. So again, when something different happens, I will continue this. At this point, we have reached the standard upgrade uh, screen and this will take uh, a lot of time. So yeah, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos to pass time. We've made some progress. We are at installing features and drivers. It seems to be speeding up a little bit. Hopefully it will speed up a lot because it's kind of really late at night. But yeah, I decided to finish this uh, today or actually it is already tomorrow. But yeah, nothing I can do then just wait for it. We are uh, really close to the end at this point and hopefully in 2 or 3 minutes, maximum 5, this will be finished. Okay, finished. Do not use express settings. Customize. You will choose what you want. Almost finished. All the settings done. And hopefully very soon we will see Windows desktop. Don't get me wrong, this upgrade uh, takes a lot of time. But for me at least it has always uh, worth it in the end. 
and we're on. The first thing that we see is Avira wanting to upgrade and we will leave it to that. Then I will run a few checks to see everything is running. Uh, if everything is running perfectly, I will give you the final conclusion and that will be about it. But until now it seems fine. Okay guys, as usual after this update process there is a ton of disk activity. This will continue for 10-20 minutes, half an hour, something like that, some way, uh, sometimes, sometimes less. Uh, you can do anything about it, you just have to let it uh, finish. And basically everything is running, Windows is activated, all drivers are installed, no problems there. Avira appeared for uh, a few seconds then disappeared again. Probably I have to give this uh, laptop a restart. And uh, yeah, let me just check on Avira. Okay guys, everything is working. Avira, Samsung will share. Everything that I tested it is okay, finally. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, subscribe, check out my other videos and see you again next time.